A couple of weeks ago, I went to the ENT. I took a hearing test. I got an MRI and found out that I could use hearing aids. That sent me down a rabbit hole of prescription and OTC hearing aids, finding out what they are, all that kind of thing. I tried an OTC solution more on that later, but I was surprised that one of the best solutions that was out there non-prescription was already in my my collection, the AirPods Pro. Hey folks, my name is Jason and I talk about tech and how it intersects with creative life and all kinds of things like that. If this video happens to help you out or you find it interesting, hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this and other things. Let's get into the video and be sure to stick around until the end because I'm going to show you how to set up AirPods as hearing aids and let you know how they've worked for me so far. First though, Let's talk about the kinds of hearing aids that are out there because this is something that was new to me and I needed to learn it. So I'm going to give you the benefit of the things that I've learned. There's OTC prescription, OTC and prescription. OTC stands for over the counter. It's a relatively new category. Just over the past couple of years, it was passed into law that OTC hearing aids could be sold outside of the prescription realm. So they can go from a couple of hundred bucks to a couple of thousand bucks or more. I ended up trying these. These are the Sennheiser All Day Clear Slims. They're not prescription. You can go and buy them at Best Buy or on Amazon. I'll put links to everything that I talk about here down in the description. So you'll be able to go check it out for yourself. Prescription hearing aids, of course, are exactly what you think. You get tested, then they create an audiogram and they program that into your hearing aids that you get. And uh, then you're, you know, you've got audiologist support and you're kind of, you've got a little bit more support going on in general. The average cost of prescription hearing aids, according to some places that I did research, was about $5,000, four to $5,000 is the average price for a prescription hearing aids, which was a big shock to me. But AirPods are different without too much fanfare. Apple has built a lot of over-the-counter headphone features into the AirPods, and most of these features have been there since like I think iOS 15, you can access them by going to accommodations in the settings app. And again, I'm going to go through all that later on in the video. But when I first got my diagnosis, it wasn't like a new thing to me. I knew that my hearing had been kind of slipping my left ear, particularly I could tell when I had the phone on this ear and then I switched it to this ear. In the past three or four months, my left ear has had a different kind of tinnitus, tinnitus, tinnitus. I always say tinnitus. Some people say tinnitus where I've always had a little bit of it, but then this is like a different pitch and it sound, feels like it's in a different place in my left ear. So I wanted to get that checked out. So I went and I, after I got that diagnosis, I got the all day clears from Sennheiser. They were a thousand dollars. They have two models. They're both a thousand dollars. These are the all day clear slims. And then they just have the all day clear. The difference is the slims have more of a, well, a slimmer piece that goes behind the ear, but then they also have more of a, an, I guess an earbud like section that goes into your ear. I went with the Sennheisers for a couple of different reasons. One, I've always liked Sennheiser headphones. So I thought that's a good pedigree to have. And then Sennheiser is also owned by Phonak which is one of the largest manufacturers of hearing aids and very well respected in that industry. They have some pretty good sort of smart features. And when you have them in your ear and, and they kind of go around the back, they're pretty invisible, unlike something like the AirPods. But they will actively adjust to, the, to your surroundings and boost or cut signal as needed. There are only two modes in the app. You, you control these through an app that they connect to your phone via Bluetooth. You can not only control the hearing aids and do some very light adjustments to the sound signature, but then you can also use them as Bluetooth headphones. And so you can get all of your notifications and listen to media and that kind of thing with them as well. So that to me was a really important feature. I wore them for a day and well, a day and a half or so. And I have to be honest, I struggled with them. One of the big problems that I had was the occlusion effect, which made it hard for me to feel connected to, you know, a conversation that I was having or something like that. The occlusion effect is when your ears get sealed by whatever's in there, your headphones or whatever, and then you can hear yourself talking inside of your head. It just makes for a really weird sort of non-organic feeling. And it took me, I just didn't get used to it. They say that you need to give hearing aids a few weeks to really adjust to them, but I just, I, I was really struggling. They were okay 
sounding, but as a musician and content creator, all that kind of stuff, I don't know if over-the-counter hearing aids are going to finally ultimately do it for me. I might want to go with something prescription. Unfortunately, the insurance that we have here for our family doesn't cover hearing aids. And that's when I came across the features that are in the AirPods. I've had the AirPods Pro 2 since they came out. I've covered them a bunch on this channel, reviews, talking about the music and entertainment perspective of them and all that kind of thing. But I had no real idea that they had a, a hearing aid functionality beyond just I knew you could do transparency mode. So when I started to dig into this, it I became very curious. There's not actually really an appreciable difference between the features that these have and other OTC hearing aids have, but I think Apple can get away with having those features in the AirPods because they don't market them as hearing aids. They even have some features that the Sennheisers that I tried out don't have. Most important of which being uploading an audiogram to your phone that you get either from your audiologist or from an app. I'll explain this all here in a second that the AirPods will then use to tune to your particular hearing loss. You can get a, an audiogram one of two ways. You can either go to an audiologist and, and get an audiogram that way, or you can use a free app called Mimi that's available on the app store. So I downloaded the Mimi app since I wasn't, you know, I didn't have an appointment with an audiologist anytime soon. And I took the test and generated an audiogram. And then I went to my iPhone settings. You, ha you go to settings and accommodations, and then you set the whole thing up. I have to say, after I got done with the setup, I was very impressed. Maybe not. I mean, maybe it wouldn't be as impressive if these were purpose-made hearing aids, but for what they are, this is definitely, if you have AirPods Pro, definitely a value add if you have any kind of like mild to moderate hearing loss. Everything around me was much clearer, and so that audiogram definitely picked up on, I, I have more of a mid-range deficit, mid-range and, and like, you know, a little bit of high-end deficit so the audiogram really did seem like it was helping when you upload an audiogram and ha and go into the hearing accommodations it also applies to media and music and that kind of thing so your airpods are actually tuning themselves to be able to listen you know when you're listening to music you're you're getting that little bit of help hearing the music a little bit better through the AirPods. So I promised that I would give you a, a little guide on how to set these things up. To do that, you need to jump into your iPhone, of course. You go to your settings app, you go to accessibility, then you wanna scroll down to, there's a lot of different things. There's hearing devices, hearing control center, sound recognition, et cetera, et cetera. You wanna tap audio visual, and then here you've got a bunch of different things, voice isolation and that kind of thing. You can actually turn on background sounds too, which if you if you have tinnitus like myself, background sounds can help quite a bit as well. So you wanna to go to accommodations and then custom audio setup. In order to do that, I have to put my AirPods on. So I'll put them in like so. I've already gone through and set up a custom audiogram through the Mimi app. You tell it to use the audiogram. And when you do that, it's going to give you this custom versus standard. And you can compare what it is that you hear. Standard for me is lower volume and a lot more muted. This is a lot more crisper when I do custom. So then you hit, you hit continue and you can select your amplification. So that's how loud things are coming into your ears. I have it at about 60% right now. And your left, right transparency balance. I have it tipped a little bit further toward the the left, then you hit done and you, you can select here like audiogram or balance tone, vocal range brightness, depending on what you want. And here it shows you that it's going to be applied to your phone, your media, and also transparency mode when it's on. Here's the Mimi app. And this is my latest audiogram. It tells you, you know, what kind of hearing loss you have, a mild hearing loss. So you can take the hearing test free app. You can go download it from the app store. So how has my experience been so far? The occlusion effect with the, with the AirPods Pro has been a little bit less, a lot less actually than what I had with the Sennheisers. I feel like it, it's doing a nice job of amplifying to the point where I could hear my voice through the head, headphones and not have the occlusion effect. Will I use the AirPods Pro forever as my hearing aids? I, probably not. I mean, right now, this is just something, it's a nice to have. It's it's not a permanent solution. The one issue that I see with using the AirPods Pro 
is because they're sealed in your ears, they aren't as great for people that have tinnitus, and which I do. Other people have said that AirPods 3, because they're not fully sealed, are a little bit better for, t for helping with tinnitus. So if that's you, maybe the AirPods 3 will do that for you. This AirPods Pro feature is actually pretty great. I'm I'm impressed with how well it works. For someone with mild hearing loss like myself, it could be the perfect solution. I don't think you could use it all the time. The battery life is only six hours, so you're not going to get all day use out of it. At least it's as good as what I've found on the over-the-counter hearing aid market. It may, in some ways, it might actually be better as well. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll do my best to answer down in the comments below. And again, there are links to everything that I've talked about here in the description. There are affiliate links, which helps me out. If you go and end up purchasing something, I get just a tiny kickback. And since I'm trying to save save up my pennies for prescription hearing aids now, I guess, then any, any little bit helps. Thanks for being here. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and then click on the video that's showing on one side of me or the other. That'll take you to a video that YouTube thinks you'll want to watch after this one. So go and check it out. Once again, thanks for being here. My name's Jason formerly known as Painfully Honest Tech, sometimes known as the JTL. Until the next time, I'm out.